Oh, well, Globy, it's been a long day. Time to get some shut-eye. My bed is so warm and cozy, especially when my head hits that pillow. But do you ever wonder what it'd be like to sleep in space? Well, good morning. Uh, you all really got an early start today. It's 6 a.m. on board the uh, International Space Station. I uh, just finished uh, a good night's sleep. Uh, we generally go to bed at uh, 9.30 at night, so that gave me a nice uh, eight and a half hours of sleep. Uh, anyhow, it's great that you've uh, decided to join us so early. Uh, if you'd kind of bear with me just a little bit, I'll, uh, I'll get here out of, my, uh, out of my bed or my sleeping bag, and I'll uh, give you a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of an introduction or a little bit of a briefing on uh, how we do things like sleep on board the station. Astronauts on board the International Space Station sleep in an area called a temporary sleep space, or TESS for short. In the reduced gravity environment of space, there is no up or down. The astronauts, who appear to be floating, can actually use all of the space around them. Astronauts can sleep in any orientation, but they have to attach themselves to a wall, a seat, or a bunk bed inside the crew cabin so they don't float around and bump into something or each other. Astronauts are scheduled for eight hours of sleep at the end of each mission day. But just like sleeping here on Earth, astronauts can have difficulty sleeping. Studies show that astronauts typically sleep a half hour to two and a half hours less than they do on Earth. They may wake up to use the restroom or get a drink of water. Some astronauts have even reported snoring in space. Other factors on board the ISS like noise and lights can also interrupt sleep. As we go into test, the first thing you see is my sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is just kind of a normal sleeping bag. It's a, it's a fabric cover, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it shortly. In the back, you can see there the headset I use when I want to make telephone calls to family or friends or anyone for that matter. And there's my laptop computer. I use that, of course, uh, for all the things that you use a computer for. I read, can read books on it, uh, magazines, I watch television, movies, uh, really uh, quite convenient. That's like a little space sleeping pod. Here's my sleeping bag. Of course, unlike a sleeping bag on Earth, with this one, I don't have to lay it down to get into it. Some of the unusual sort of space-like features are that it has a little slot for each arm to come out of. It serves a couple of useful functions. Of course, one is it allows me to do work uh, inside my little sleep station. Uh, allows me to work on the computer if I would like. Uh, plus, also, if I get a little warm, it allows me to stay in the sleeping bag, still be restrained, which is a different function for our sleeping bag. You know, a sleeping bag on the ground, really, it's just designed to keep you warm. This was also designed to keep us from moving around so much. We can secure it to the floor or the walls or the ceiling if you really want to sleep in an unusual fashion. Sleeping on the ceiling? Now that's really a different way of getting some Z's. I wonder what it's like waking up like that. Getting ready for work first means taking care of a few very normal chores like brushing your teeth. We do get asked very, very often, how do you brush your teeth in space? And what do you do with the toothpaste? Well, let me show you what we use to brush our teeth in space. A tube of toothpaste and a toothbrush just like the ones you use. I hope you brush your teeth three times a day. Now as I'm brushing my teeth, no sink to spit in, so what do we do? Use a towel. Uh, this is a package which has one dry towel in it. Uh, this is provided by the Russian space program and it works at very nice little towels. And yes, almost everything has Velcro on it. I can either swallow the toothpaste or I can spit it into the towel. Fortunately, one other chore I have to deal with every day is shaving. So I use something called Astro Edge shaving cream and a razor, just like I would on the ground. Again, no running water, so it's a little difficult to clean my razor, so I just use the same old towel. This means I have to replace the blade a little more frequently than I would on the earth. No running water. How do I get all that extra soap off my face? Courtesy of the Russian space program, we have these wonderful wet towels. Each package has one wet towel in it. And there I am. I brush my teeth, I've shaved, washed my face. Now I'm ready to go have breakfast. And remember, every day ought to start off with a good, healthy breakfast. 
and follow that up by two other good, well-balanced meals throughout the rest of the day, and you'll be able to do lots of good work, whether it's at school or on board the International Space Station. Have a great day. So the next time you're getting ready to start your day, think about the astronauts on the International Space Station. But don't swallow your toothpaste.